Welcome to BricsCAD for AutoCAD users. My name is Ralph Krabowski, and it is my pleasure to show you BricsCAD 14. Now, today I want to tell you about the prompt menu. This is this uh, uh, menu over here that I've got right here, and uh, it basically lists all the uh, command prompt options that uh, you'll find down here in the command prompt area. So on this uh, little menu here, you'll find tangent, tangent radius, 2.3 point, turn arc into a circle, and, and other options that relate to the circle command. Now, why would you need it? Because you already got all the options displayed here. Well, one possibility is, let's uh, turn off the command bar. Now I've got the command bar turned off, but we can still see what all the different options are like this. And uh, we can put this uh, menu over here in a blank area of the uh, properties palette or some other convenient spot like another screen. Now the prompt menu is not normally displayed. It only shows up when you enter a command. So I'm going to st start the circle command again. And there you see it popping up. Now where it pops up is determined by settings in the settings dialog box and I'll show you those a little bit later. Let me point out a few other things. Uh, this first one here, this first prompt is tan tan rad and it's in italics. And that's because that's a more rarely used command. And so if you uh, prefer, there's an option in settings that lets you turn those on or off. So there aren't quite as many things in there. Let me uh, show you another command. Let's do the erase command. And uh, it has a large number of options. And it's displaying all the different ways of selecting entities. Uh, the various additional options that BricsCAD has or uh, through uh, properties uh, such as thickness and color and uh, that there brings you right into the settings dialog box selection methods. To control how the prompt menu works you're going to go into settings and then select settings and then from there, I'm going to type in prompt menu into the search bar. And uh, there we have the options related to it. You can see that there's two, prompt menu and prompt menu flags. The flags just uh, is for turning those hidden options on and off that I mentioned earlier, the ones that are shown in italics. I'm going to turn it off and then you'll be able to see once I escape this dialog box how that looks like. The other one here is prompt menu and you've got these uh, six options. Don't display it so that means it's not going to show up when you enter in a command name. Display prompt menu means that the menu floats and it'll stay where you last left it and that's what I was using uh, earlier in this video. And then these others are uh, forcing them the menu to stay at the four different corners of the drawing area and I believe the default is top left corner but I'm going to switch it to bottom right corner just once again so that you can see what the effect is like. So I made these two changes I'm going to uh, close the settings dialog box and now I'll start that circle command again. Notice that this time it appears in the lower right corner and that the italicized prompt Tan Tan Rad is now missing. I trust you found this video useful and that you'll uh, watch again when we bring you another way of working more efficiently with BricsCAD. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.